Hi, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, you get the Three of Cups to start. Um, well, we'll stay there for a while. So you get Three of Cups. Some of you could have just had really good news. Maybe you got married. You're getting married. Um, people rallying around you, their success, triumph. It's just like um, this even could be commercial success, like big success, you know, uh, like worldwide. You could be just hanging out with friends, just doing your thing. Uh, this could even be partnership in business that's going very, very well. Uh, this is the initial stages of creation. I don't know if you got, some of you got married or you're getting married or you made the announcement or you made some big announcement here or some partnership collaboration is working out well for you. Um, there could be somebody here who feels like either you're lying, Sagittarius, or you feel like they're lying lying about maybe getting a divorce separating it's just delays and challenging news coming up or someone's lying about coming back home oh i'm coming back home but then they don't or oh i'm oh i'm going to be available but then they're not somebody's tired and they feel like this is just unfair um someone didn't like being put in the corner or putting me in the corner or putting me in the friend zone this is how somebody feels about you or you don't like this in regards to what someone's doing to you you somebody is kind of like leading somebody on maybe someone feels led on to feel like they're the only person but they're really not there's like a group of it looks like a group of women or and there's a lot of women someone felt like uh, they were going to be the only one here or they were told that they were going to be the only one somebody wants to partner with you Sag because of the money my right hand is itching somebody is in like some sexless marriage where Somebody doesn't want to have sex because they don't want to get pregnant anymore. There could be like a side chick, side person type of energy here. And um, they, they keep ghosting or leaving the side person or telling the side person that they're leaving their person, but they never leave. There could be a feminine energy that has a side dude or side whatever. It's definitely somebody sneaking around and trying to go undetected. There's somebody also scheming. It could be a feminine energy scheming because if I get attached to, if I get married to, if I'm with this person that I'm taking care of, I'm, I want to be a millionaire or I'm going to have money or something like that. Somebody stopped waiting or somebody is, you know, not going to wait anymore. They feel like, it is unfair. It isn't um, fair that um, you've got me kind of in this addictive nature because I'm listening to the promises that you make, but then you don't fulfill the promises. Either you feel that way, Sagittarius, or somebody saying that about you. You're making all these promises. You're not making good on any of them. It's just lies at this point. It's deception. It's trickery. It's trying to master me, master someone's emotions or get a reaction out of this is also somebody who really wants to go it alone they really want to be alone they really want to be the lone wolf they'll leave you holding the bag they don't really want this type of responsibility could be you Sag could be the other person somebody feels like the other person is clingy sticking to hanging on to for dear life too tight and the other person is letting go or wanting to let go, or if you let go, I'll let go type of energy. If you want to keep hanging on to this, I'll stick around. It's like somebody saying, you already know what it is. You know, I got other women and you know, I have other men or you know what this is. You know, it, they're pushing the ball back in your court or you're pushing the ball in somebody else's court. Sag, like if you leave, then, you know, then it's gone. Then we're gone. Somebody is addicted to you. Or vice versa, you're addicted to someone, but you, you're kind of in a like bad mental state because 
you're not the only person. You're not the only person in this, in your person's life. They could be dating several different people. This could be a same sex only relationship to somebody is definitely like lovesick, stuck, can't move. Um, somebody could have gotten fired from their job or, or let go or divorced or, um, if not divorced, um, dumped. Someone was trying to just avoid a bad decision, but somebody feels like this is the best sex ever, especially when we be late night creeping and somebody's in the energy of let's run away together and let's not just keep this as like a side thing, but let's, um, let's let's take it up a bit somebody could be heavy on ig that they could be a fashion model fashion model or ig model or something like that yeah it's like somebody feels like all we do is just we break up and then we have sex we have this old sex session and then we break up again somebody does sell sex or does porn or does something sexual for money someone's upset because Somebody here doesn't want children. Somebody could be into Wicca, Wiccan, I don't know, like a part of a coven, cult. Somebody is into, they're in a, they're in a group. Somebody's just addicted to love you know, addicted to love and want to be loved. And someone just talks way too much, entirely too much. Somebody is definitely a little loose out here, you know. Um, but the loose person is wanting a commitment from another person, but the other person is saying, no, I don't really want that. Somebody's holding on for dear life. This is almost becoming an obsession, you know, obsession and addiction. Somebody just can't let go. It could be, it's like a younger and older dynamic. Somebody's still holding on to the promises. Even though they know that they're not the only person and that this person could be quote unquote cheating, they're still holding on for dear life. This is not right. This is, um, somebody needs help. Let's pull some shells. Uh, financially stable or abundant, right? Somebody wants to be financially abundant. Somebody they want to partner with. Somebody is definitely addicted to love, just want to be in love. Uh, somebody is into like some spiritual type of work or doing some energy work. Um, someone is saying that you have a great body or a great body of work. Someone wants it all to just stop. You know, just let's just stop what we're doing because that's a smart decision. A newborn baby somebody doesn't want children there is a newborn baby or someone's trying to start something or someone's trying to get pregnant the other person is trying to run leave leave this situation so it's like somebody's holding on for dear life the other person's trying to let go like let let me go it's okay to let me go like if you let go i'll let go you know i don't know um this is a it's like reading as like fatal attraction type of energy or someone just can't let go just I don't know, stuck. Let's see, one more card here. Yeah, somebody want to take a, so usurp. Somebody wants to take a position of power or importance illegally or by force. Somebody could be like to Wiccan, Wicca, all that type of stuff. Somebody is extremely low vibing, violent, like, the, the fuck fight type of relationship. We, we saw that where you're breaking up and then you come back and you have sex. There's no growth and it's unhealthy. It's just toxic, low vibing altogether. Somebody feels like they've had the best sex ever. It was like a Kundalini awakening with the other person. I don't know. And somebody wants to just be attached to somebody because they see them as highly fortunate, a royal star of the lion. You know, they, with them, success is ensured, you know. 
that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Keep in mind, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.